People ask me so often, ah, what style of yoga is this? <laughs> they, they want a name for it. <laughs> and I can't really say. Uh, I really, it's somewhere between hatha and bhakti and vinyasa and really just has a life of its own. It is a living practice. Yoga is a slowing of the endless mental churn and spin. It's an awakening with your aperture as wide open as possible. We're deeply rooted to what has come before us. We are actually imprinted by all of it. What has been so beautiful is to watch this community, this tribe, this Sangha grow. And it's as if the teachings are alive within that tapestry that is being woven by each individual that comes in. There are beautiful, complex stories that carry paternas and mythologies and all of the sweetness that carries us down that reminds us that, oh yeah, there is a, there's a metta, there's a big picture, the maha vision, right? So what I hope to share is that it's all right here, that you don't have to jump through a million different hoops to get there. You don't have to buy another thing, get another thing, have another thing to arrive at what you're searching for. You do not need a rectangular mat to begin yoga. You begin wherever you are, how you are that these various voices and visions and way of holding together start to weave in and make something strong. That if we slow down, possibly pause a moment, that it's not out there, it's actually all right here. <laughs>